perfect and it's clear base and just look at that three quarter inch it's just this is a showstopper marble Right there's a crock sealer for the top of a crock that would have went down in that's pretty cool Lay that. I just got another one of these huge pasturista cerveza beers and I'm Mexican beers look at this cerveza another one perfect it's got a weird mark on the bottom with a triangle these are pretty nice that's a good find I didn't think I'd ever find another one of them same dump here's another one they're huge look at it later right, I got this cleaned out now I've been here about a half hour doing this since that beer bottle got this get this well there's a big rock right there I don't know if you can see it it's huge it was right up there I had to get it out but I thought I had a coke but it's broke there's a blue bottle Ooh, it's a strap sided one and it's real blue we'll take that I'm getting stuff I got that beer bottle, I got an Art Deco soda, and I got a blue slick medicine. It's aqua. But there should be some stuff back in here. There's a, it's a shame these aren't embossed. These would be awesome little bottles. I don't know what they are. Probably some kind of liquor. And this is a cryer, isn't it? I don't have an insulator like that. That's awesome. And it's broke. I'm going to take it though and cut it off right there. And it'll still look good. Um, you can see how it'll look cut off around that seam and it'll still be a cool piece. So we're gonna take that That's a that's a crier though, but I can still Salvage it and I'm taking it. I just raked out that insulator man. This looks like an old good one, too Look at this and they're almost all broke on this dump Man this thing. Oh, it's one of the star ones All right, look at it. It's perfect. I love these star ones. Ooh, it's a, well, that's a little bottle, but it didn't say nothing on it. But man, I like this. You can look up these star insulators. The color change, uh, some of them are blue, some of them are green. Some of them have different colors, and it's from the sand they used when they made them. Type in star insulator. Maybe I'll put up some information. Man, this is perfect, and it's nice. Look at the waves of the glass. I love it. I love these ones. Wow, good find. I'm glad I came to this dump. Ladies, look at all these bottles sticking out, man. I had a nice dry layer. Um, I just got that insulator out here. But I mean, there's bottles everywhere. There's a handle off a knife. Oh, I'll get back. I should find some marbles in here. That's what I'm hoping. Nice ones. There's older ones here. Beautiful marbles. There's an ACL Canada dry. There's a bunch of stuff in here. And the layer's dry. It's been so wet, but I got a place to dig now. Later. I just turned off that last clip where I said I was going to hopefully find some marbles, and I popped one right out of the wall here, and it looks nice. This is what I'm after. These marbles are better than my last. Oh, oh, it's chipped, but let me see what it is. It looks awesome. You can see it's a smoker. It's like baby blue glass. Look at it. But it's got a chip all out of one side. I'll put it in my pocket so I don't find it again. That's a bummer. But I'll get some whole ones later. This. Man, that's a cool army, man. I bet you he went, he's crouched down because he was by a mortar. A plastic mortar but man that's a unique one not really seen one like that maybe it's early marks but it's real heavy plastic that's very cool I collect these little army men that I find 
I keep them all together. That's pretty cool. Later. You're sticking out of the wall. Another one of them insulators. Let's pray this is whole. Oh, it looks good. And it's another star one. Oh, these are awesome. Look, these are nice condition. Oh, right. Look at that, folks. Oh, man. Two of them right here. Plus that big one I can cut off. I must be in a pocket of them. And look at all the the big bottles sticking out. I'm going to have a pretty good day, I think. I'm going to stay as long as I can. I got one of these cool bottles that are whole. Wheeling, West Virginia. Oh, this is nice. Some weird AC. Look. Mill K bottle, and this is just absolutely the best you could ask for out of the ground. It's gonna look brand new. A fruit drink, not a pop drink. Don't say orange, just say Mill K. Mill K bottles, and it's got little Dutch girls on it. And there's an Indian right there with a feather in it. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, it's perfect too. Man, that's nice. That's a day maker. And there's just all kinds of stuff in here. You can see I got a whole pile of bottles over here. Blue bottles, Art Deco sodas. There's an embossed hair care product that says Pittsburgh. You've seen me find these quick dry wave jet Dr. Ellis. It says Pittsburgh, I take all of them. They're worth a few bucks. But man, I'm doing all right. See, there's, there's something right there that's all ACL'd up. That looks pretty cool. Let me get that out later. Even got that out and I looked over here. You know, I thought that was a mason, but right there's a, a crown top. There's a big green bottle right there. That's uh, just one of them. That's uh, just a beer. But look at these bottles and look at this layer. This is nuts. There's a lot of stuff in here. Well, anyway, I'll get that bottle out and show you. I was just kind of eyeballing around in here. Look at all this stuff. Later. Vanny Saw Bowl Cleanser, that's what that was. It's all there, that's old. I don't know that I'll take that. But we'll see. Later. See it? Hey, there's a marble. It's one of these clear, clear ones with the color on the outside, let me get it wiped off. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. I picked the right spot to dig. Later. That different colored strip in between the white and green is just looking into the inside of the marble. It's completely clear. You can probably see my finger moving behind it. These are cool. It's real nice condition. It has another window looking in there too. I'll get back on my next one later to find a shooter on this dump and I think I just got one and what the heck is up with this week found a three four inch one last week or yesterday the day before I found three acro agate marbles that glow under a black light and now I got this oh this looks awesome folks this is a day maker this is awesome it looks real nice Man, let me get this cleaned off. I just locked out. This is what I'm here looking for, mainly marbles. And baby, I just got a, oh, it's green. Oh, it's green, clear glass. Oh, fix, this is awesome. Let me get it wiped off. Look at this. My hands are all muddy. I'm not taking my gloves off. I got it wiped off in my shirt, but look at this, folks. Look at this smoker. Oh, man. Look at it. This is awesome. I'll get back at you. I'll show you the marbles at the end if I find enough. That makes two good ones. Later. That looks like an old, like, knee-high. It is. And this will have a town on it. You know, these aren't worth a lot, but I like them. Let's see what it says. Columbus O. No, Columbus, Georgia. I don't have this. This is pretty cool. Say the least, and it's whole. I'm right on the base layer. You can see all kinds of stuff sticking out. There's some older stuff in here, and the marbles will be good with this era of bottle. This looks pretty good. Yeah, it, it does look pretty good. It's another Verner's ginger ale. Perfect. I'll put it up here with the other ACLs and take it and clean it up. I just had a cave in, so I'm going to have to dig this out. 
but I'm finding stuff fix. I'm on it. The latest is now the third insulator of the day, and if you count that one, this is a clear one. I like them colored ones way better, but man, there's a bunch of insulators in here. That's four if I count to one I'm gonna cut off. Um, I'm finding some pretty cool stuff. I kind of like this bottle. You know, to have one which says Columbus, Georgia on it that I don't have is pretty cool. And I really like this. It has wheeling on it, that's awesome. And all the insulators and a few nice marbles and I've only been here like an hour and a half. So I ought to do pretty good here in the future today. So I'm gonna keep at it. Thanks for watching. What this is, but look at this. Actually, I think this is a Virginia Dare bottle and it's a little one. I ain't never found one of these. This is a day maker for me. I have a lot of the big ones. Oh, look at it. It says Virginia Dare, New York. And Virginia Dare, I think, is the first European born settler on like Roanoke Island or something. But look at Garrett Wine. I've never found one of these little ones before. This is awesome. It'll get right in my personal collection. I really like it. Wasn't expecting that in there. Look at it. Look at the nice embossing on it. Virginia Dare. Beautiful bottles. And they ain't making them no more. That's nice. You know, I don't figure it's worth more than five bucks, but I like it. And that's the whole philosophy with me. If I like it, I'm taking it. Later. Yeah, there's one of them old Quaker bottles again with the Quaker embossed on it. I always take these. They're kind of cool. We'll set it over here and get it when we go. I'm still looking. I'm popping out a bunch of stuff. I had a cave in, so I had to... And see, there's milk tops. It's hard to tell what I'm going to pull out of here. I've been trying to look at every bottle. I like that Virginia Dare bottle. That's the first little one like that I've ever found, ever, on my channel. I'll get it cleaned up and showed at the end and some of the other cool stuff like the ACLs. This must be the day of the insulators. Look there, man. And I, I collect insulators. And see right there, that hard clay stuff? That's the bottom of the dump. I'm on a slant like this. And these are all right on the base. This has the patent date of 1800 and something on it. 1893. Patent May 2nd, 1893. And look at this. All right. What's that make? Um, one, a clear one, two of those star ones, and now this one. It's a Heming Ray number 12. I've got a collection of these today in two hours. Man, fakes, it's perfect. It's perfect. Later. Uh, you can see it. There's stuff coming down. I gotta get this marble and get out of here. It's gonna start coming after to bust that big rock out. It's go. But I just got, a, I think, a German wire pool, and look at that. It looks like it's going to fluoresce. I think this is a handmade marble. This is awesome. Man, I was ready to come here. Later. You can see that big rock. You know, that falls on you. It puts a hammer on you. I've been hit with rocks in the head, the neck, the arms, like that. It's a wonder I haven't been hurt. But look at this, folks. Oh, man. It's like got wisps. I think it's a German wire pool handmade. I'll have to look for a pond mark when I get home. See what I mean? It's not bad cave-ins today. This happens. This is part of the job. But man, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. Man, that's nice. It's just awesome. Let me see if it's nice. Wow. Later. See if you see it. I see a marble laying right there. Fell right out of this wall. There's just tons that look how dark the soil is too. Oh, this, oh, folks. This is better than what I thought. Look at this. Hold on, I'm on it now. Later. And I've been finding nice stuff. This is like an amber. Look at that. Oh, you know, these nice ones like this, I could probably get Fifteen twenty dollars a piece for them, and maybe even more that more than that with real good pictures. Look at the condition. There's not even any nicks, any playwear or nothing. Ah, oh, that's nice. Now look at this. Ah, oh, fix. These are beauties. 
finding nice marbles. That last one was real nice too in that shooter. I'll get back, I'm gonna stay in here a while. It's supposed to rain for five days in a row. I'm gonna prepare a place here and maybe tarp it so I can come dig when it's bad later. And stuff up out of there and look here. There's another bigger marble. And this looks like a Bennington. I think it is. It's a crockery marble. This is awesome. It's a handmade glaze, like a salt glaze crock, right off the base clay. Another good one. Hold on, let me wipe it off. That's what it is. It's a big blue Bennington fired in like a kiln. Um, handmade glaze like a crock. That's pretty nice. I'm happy to get that. I don't find a lot of them, and I don't, I have in the past. I found brown ones and blue ones and, you know, but I, I haven't found one in this big frame. So now we got one in there with a couple clay marbles. And man, I got some nice glass marbles today. I'm gonna keep at it, folks. Later. I, it, I got another big marble. It's not shooter size, but it's bigger than normal. This looks pretty good, dang it. It's all stained up. I got it right in here. It fell right down behind that root. Um, man, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's one of these weird jars. I found these before. I'll probably take you. See the they're brown glass and they got ridges on them and that weird thing in the bottom i'll probably take that and there's some older stuff the farther i get back in here look at this old panel bottle one embossed but there's a big blue one let me get this one wiped off this looks rather nice it looks like it's different color on that other side i it, this might be really nice let me get it cleaned off i can't tell it's all muddy and rusted let me hold on you what this is one of the nicest marbles i found all year even with them, this might be an acro agate like sunburst, but I've never seen one with chocolate. Look at the, it looks like wood paneling with baby blue and yellow. On, this marble, and look at the condition. This is insane, folks. This is insanely nice. This marble's worth some money. Some of them other ones are too, but this thing is just a showstopper. Look at that right there. And it looks like wood grain. I've never seen anything like this. This is just amazing. And it's three quarters inch. I thought that was all rust staining when I picked it up. And look, oh, folks. Look at that right there. Oh, man. This is, I'm really, this is a weak maker. Man. Well, anyway, I'll get back to you. I'm doing good again. Later. I just raked out a different ACL suit and let's, yeah, I think it's one of them red rocks. Oh, yes. And this is a variant from the one I have. Be careful with it. I'll have to, oh, yeah. I can clean this all up. Red, and it says something higher. Bel Air Ohio. It's got that lady on it. Um, that rust staining will come off with bleach and it's copyrighted. I think it says 30 something, hold on. It does, it says 1939 right there. I can get that all cleaned up. That's another nice AC, I'll say. That. I've not seen this red rock with the date on it. 1939, all right. That, I'd say that marble is an acre then. All right, folks. Look at this layer. Just ash and it's about i don't know two and a half foot thick and it's loaded later got another insulator i don't even know how that ma many that makes um i'll take this crack one and set it over there for pictures at the end but look look in the bag here there's a whole pile of them man somebody threw away a bunch of them here and look at all these acl stages plus a pocket full of marbles see i'm finding Big ACL milks too, but the stuff's messed up on them. I should probably take him. Look at all the blue bottles. There's that big, uh, big uh, Mexican beard. I'm gonna get back in the hole. Lay down. Marbles. A few rakes. I'm trying to get this cut out. Cave down a little bit, and right here's another. It's one of them clear base ones. Let me wipe it off, and I'll show you. It's one of them clear ones. Well, let me just do it in my shirt here while I'm talking to you, man. I've got a whole pocket full of marbles already, and that one with the wood veneer on it is just insane. See, it's one of these clear ones. You can see in it in the window there with the blue patch and the white. It's pretty nice. It, the condition's awesome. 
I'll get back on my next find. It's hard to tell what I'm going to find from day to day in places like this. Kind of cool. It's a ceramic flower, but it's a bottle topper, I think. It ain't broke. It's like a knob maybe off something. That's cool. I'm taking it. Kids play set. It's probably Mark's. It has a rifle with a... Dan it's probably the Daniel Boone play set. There's a coon skin cap right on that rifle. And that rifle snaps off. I'm gonna take that and take the rifle off of it. I might even keep the whole piece. That's kind of cool. Later. Look at this. Mm. It says something. Uh oh, on it. I can't tell, but patent pending something. Look at that little, like beer bottle looking thing. I don't think there's no embossing on it, but it's still cool. Later. Got another marble one. It's a solid yellow one, but it has see these like lot clear lines in it. It's an older one, and it's nice. It's nice condition. It'll look nice in that frame. Found it raking back the stuff. I can see about everything here. I'm even seeing smalls. The soil is real dark. It's got that rust in it. That's what you want for marbles. They pop right now. The ground's not real wet. It drains here quick through that rust layer down to the base and runs off because I'm on a hill. Later. See this? I just got that Sistersville Pepsi or Coke bottle right there. It's a real nice condition, but look here. Here's a Pepsi that says two full glasses on it. It's going to be real nice. It looks like Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, it's messed up right in there. I might take it. That's a pretty good bottle, but I got so many of them. Later, it's starting to get insane. Look here. Oh, another one of the 1890 ones. 1893, and this one's different. That other one has like grooves in the side. Look, perfect condition. This one's perfect. Just raked it out right there. Man, take you over here to the bag real quick. Look at this. This is dangerous. I'm on the side of a steep hill. But I'm getting some pretty, look at this pile of insulators. All of them ones in the bag right there are perfect. Oh man, folks. And th this Virginia Dare bottle's cool because it's little. And I like this milk bottle thing. Hopefully I can find a nice milk. I've been finding pieces of old bottles up in here. I'll put that thing up and see the guns loose. I can get that gun off and keep it mounted on something that's cool with the coon skin hat on it. But see, there's there's a hires that's messed up, kind of. We'll have to take this Coke. You don't want to forget that. There's like an ice cream dish. It's perfect. I'd say that's what that's for. But I'm going to get to it. i got to get this rock out of here. I'm just finding stuff consistently. There's, all, there's just bottles everywhere back in here. Later rock caved in and I'm getting shoveled out it's taking me about 15 minutes but raking this back out right here oh man it's one of those vitro agate like parakeets but this one looks clear base look at orange yellow green white clear let me get it cleaned off wow definitely clear base and look at that color look at the condition just an absolute smoker again whole pocket full of awesome ones these marbles today are a hundred times better than the ones yesterday in that video the dump was just a little bit too new but maybe the older ones are deeper on that place but i'm in a nice pocket now folks later this is a keeper too it's got the ass embossed on it and look at this this is a smaller size than the, it's seven fluid ounces i've never even seen a seven fluid ounce whoa of this bottle I've got like a 12 ounce one or a big one at the house. I'm not sure if it's 12 ounce, but everything's here. Man, the ACL suiters are older and nice here. You know, that's from the 1940s. Man, later. It's starting to get insane. Here's another awesome insulator, and it looks nice. Oh, man. I don't even know. I got a whole collection now. Heming Ray number nine. And it has the 1890 date on it. Patent May 2nd, 1893. Perfect condition. These are beauties. And you know, I got a collection. I got a whole collection in my bag over here. 
Look at this, a whole pile. Man, folks, what this is the true day of the insulators. And man, the marbles are just outstanding. Outstanding. Lay the kind of glass electrical related thing. We'll take that to go with the insulators. Um, I'll reach over here and put it right there. Lay that. Another marble. This one looks like it'll fluoresce. I think these are called moonies. It's nice condition. It'll look great in that frame. You can see how it looks like it'll glow in the dark. That's pretty nice. Um, I had a cave in there. Rock hit me in the side, man. Might have to take a break for a minute. Oh, no way. Hopefully this ain't broke. I didn't even see this. I raked this up. Another insulator, folks. Another one. Jesus. I had a cave in there, and I was pulling the stuff up real fast. I didn't even get to rake it back and see this. Hemingway 9, perfect condition, and it's got the old patent date on it, 1893. I mean, there's a whole pile in my bag. Look at this. It's starting to get just ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Look at this. I got definitely got into a pile of them, huh? Man, folks, later. It's on fire every time I come out. There's a nice blue bottle back here, and look here. Do you see it? Beauty. Oh, man. Man, let me get it wiped off. I'm just getting filthy because I'm having a good time. I didn't even feel like coming out today. I was, I was feeling rough. But, man, man, later. I think these are vitro agates. Look, that window that line you can see all the way in clear to the other side of the marble the color is on the outside and this is a red one another nice one for the pocket i just had this rock fall down right here out of the top right when i was turning off the clip the last clip and it almost hit me man that's scary but i'm still back in here i had a cave in i had to do this all out but there's a big blue bottle yeah it's unembossed Man, I got a pile of these. Later. That clip and man, there's a nice marble laying right here. And look at the crock sticking out. Oh man, this looks like it has ox blood in it. Oh, it does. It's ox. Oh, this is an acro agate ox blood corkscrew. This is a day maker. Oh man, look at that ox blood. It just looks like somebody cut herself and it went on the marble. Oh, this is nice. Man, I'm finding good stuff today. This marble's like worth some money too. And it looks like it's gonna fluoresce. Let me get it cleaned off. Little stain there's rust staining, but look at this marble. It's a lemonade oct. This is like a $60 marble. Corkscrews all the way around the marble. Oh, this is nice, folks. It looks like it's gonna fluoresce. It's an acro agate for sure. An early one. Oh man, I'm finding some of the best marbles of the year today. That one with the wood grain on it's really valuable too. Man. You know, I probably got, you can see, I got a whole pile of them in my pocket. I probably got that frame pretty much done now. And it's a nice frame of marbles. I'll show it at the end. Last like month and a half, two months, I've been hammering it as much as I can. And I have a collection of marbles. Now I got a collection of insulators. I got all kinds of bottles. I just got all kinds of stuff. The other side to Daniel Boone's cabin that I just found a little bit ago. I'm take, glad I kept that last one. Maybe I'll find it all and I can put it back together. That'd be kind of cool. Probably has a rough though too. I'll get back at you, man. There's a bunch of stuff in here. And the marbles are just fabulous. This is electrical too. And look how cool that is. It's like blue glass. I'd say a wire went through that. It's off an old telephone pole or something. We're going to take that too. That's more stuff to go with him insulator. See it? I just raked up another old marble. Man, there's a nice layer in here. It's another one of them red ones. Um, I'll just wipe it off right here real quick. Man, I'm doing good. I don't even know how many marbles I found now, and every one of them's nice. It's all there. That seam on that first one. See, it's a clear base one. I think these are Phantom Conquerors. That's nice, folks. These are all nice marbles. That last acro, man, with that ox blood is insane. That's a very desirable marble. Played out an old plastic airplane, probably from the 50s or 40s, um, right in with the uh, marbles. If you're seeing them toys, chances are you're going to see the marbles if you're in an older dump. Well, you just are. Yet this one's hard to see. 
I'm still in marbles. You can see I'm all the way back in the hole, but this is good. Even if it rains with this, how it's back in, I'll be able to come here and dig unless we get inches of rain. It's gonna rain for five days, so I ought to be able to keep the dream alive back in here, folks. All right, but do you see it? There's a marble here and it looks pretty good. Get down a little closer, see if you can see it. It's right here. Let's do a reveal. That's a yellow one. Some of these solid color ones, they didn't, you can tell from books who made them and some of them are rare. Like certain colors are rare. I don't know who made this one, but it's nice. And it's another one for the pocket. And I got a whole bunch of them. Lay that in cave ends, but I see a marble back in here. We're going for it. Ah. Oh, oh, folks, look at this. Oh my God. This is another, oh my God. Oh, folks, let me get this cleaned off. This is insane. Oh, later. These marbles I've been finding in this hole and the ones I found there a couple days ago are the nicest marbles I've found on my channel. These are collector grade, like top of the line glass marbles. I think this is an acro agate carnelian, I think they're called, but it's perfect. And it's clear base and just look at that. Three quarter inch. It's just, this is a showstopper marble. Oh, it's like a $50 one or more. These are just insanely nice. Look at the color on this. Oh, you can see all into the marble. Oh, folks. This is one of the best marble digging days on my channel. I got that ox blood one and all them other cool ones. Oh, all of those insulators. I mean, I got a pocket full of marbles. Later. Out my hole. Another one of them. Like Phantom Conquerors. Let me wipe it off here. Man, there's marbles everywhere in here. It's because I started finding them toys. Somebody's dumped like a whole kid's toy chest away in here. Look at this. I think that's a vetro, but you can see clear into the marble. That's just nice in itself. But that last one, holy mackerel. That's nicer than those shooters the other day. I'll show all the marbles at the end. I'd say I have the frame filled now. I can just call it a day on the marbles and start another frame. Man, I'm pleased. This is one of the best digs of the year, folks. I'm glad I could bring you along, and I hope everybody's staying safe and indoors. You know, I'm not around nobody ever. I'm always digging. But there's older bottles in here, too. This was sure a bummer. This says like 36 or 34 on the bottom. It's an old soda. It's a shame that's not embossed. These green ones, I'm gonna take that to put a new label on, but that's a shame. I would've liked to have that embossed, but I'm gonna get back at her for a while. Play that jar of marbles back in here. I see another one. See it right there. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna have to watch these rocks. The heck's that? That's just a jar. It's another one of these. Let me wipe it in my shirt and I'll show you real quick before I put it in my pocket. Man, I found more marbles today than I have in a long time. I had to dig a big hole though. I'm gonna have to get my legs out of here. There's rocks up in the ceiling, that hurts. But y'all, oh, look at that big clear window on that. That's a pretty one. Look, you can see all the way in it. Let me wipe this off. Oh man, that's a good one too. Lay that nice marble. It's right there. Ah. Oh, that hurt. That was a rock. Oh, man. It's another awesome one. Let me wipe it off here. Hold on. Look at this. Oh, folks, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. That's going to fluoresce. I'll have to show you all these at the end. The frame's filled, but I'm, i got to get my legs out of here. See them rocks. Um, shovel some of this out. I'm getting tired. I've been here a long time. I'd say I've been here four hours anyway just digging non-stop um that's cracking that's gonna go um but there's marbles everywhere in here and toys that's just insane i'd say that's an acro agate too later oh when i see another awesome marble i think right oh yes and they're everywhere that's a corkscrew look it's cookies and cream Look, see the cork going all the way around it? And other acro. Let me get it cleaned off. You know, it's definitely what it is, a corkscrew. See how the swirl cork corkscrews? 
all the way around the marble and then terminates there at the end that's like a cookies and cream corkscrew man that's nice folks look at the condition i'm just popping them out every few rakes there must be hundreds of them back in here but man it's dangerous Lay that another one Oh, it's another corkscrew. Let me get this cleaned off. I'll be right back. Man, there's acro mar marbles in here everywhere. Lay that. Another beauty. Corkscrews all the way around the marble. Terminates up here at the top. Beautiful condition. Looks like it might even have adventuring in it. Another smoker. You know, acro agate's out of business. That's a desirable marble, even though it's just white and green. Look at that pile of marbles. Later. Here's another acro agate. You can see what I'm dealing with. I, this is hard digging. I'm about ready to pass out, but right here, it's worth it. Let me get this cleaned off. This is a red, transparent acro agate corkscrew with real tight lines. Just look at these. Later. Look at this. There's the corkscrew going around, all the way around, up and terminates at the top. That's why it's called a corkscrew. The pattern on it looks like a corkscrew, made by the Acro Agate Company. I'd say these are from the 30s. Um, that bottle was like thir mid 30s, and them carnelians, and see, there's all kinds of toys and stuff right there. Is a little house. Look at that. Little, and it's a, it's a pencil sharpener, I think, or a pencil topper. Some kid had that and had these marbles. We'll take the toy too, but the marbles is what I'm after. Put this one in my pocket, man. But I'm gonna have to get going pretty soon. We'll come back. Um, you can just, the rivers were real high. You can just plan on me being around in this area digging in the next couple videos. So you'll have something to look forward to while you're staying inside trying to avoid the coronavirus. I appreciate you watching, folks. I do. Later. I had a huge cave in and almost got me. But you can see I'm way down in there. Them marbles are way deep. Um, but I'm hitting the base layer of the dump and they're all laying right on it. That's why I'm finding them and they're so nice. Um, this is where we'll be next trip. Right in this hole with the insulators. Man, folks, come over here. I mean, you can see the marbles. Um, you saw the marbles. I'll have to get them out and get pictures. But I got a huge handful of just all nice ones. Only one was broke. Um, but look, blue bottles everywhere. Um, blue bottles up there. A whole pile of nice insulators. Any one of them has damage. A big beer bottle. Um, some decent sodas. This ACL soda has to be scarce from wheeling. I'd say that's worth 20 bucks. I got this little Garrett wine. The Red Rock beverages. I got milks, but they're all ACLs. I didn't get. I only got one Coke today. Um, the lid to that. I found this thing. Looks like a fire hydrant. It probably had a little dog with it, with a hike leg. I was thinking about it. It's not a salt and pepper shaker. I think it's a fire hydrant ceramic. It probably had a little dog with a hike leg to go right by it. There's a shell button. The Army man. I did good. I'm kind of happy to get this big Mexican beer. I can put a new label on this with like Don Quixote on it or something. It'll be cool. It says Cerveza. It's an old beer. It's probably right around Prohibition or slightly before. It's got that triangle design on it. I like them. I found one up here before. But folks, how can you argue with this? Look at the marbles. There's a huge handful in my pocket. Most of them Zachary Agates. I appreciate it. I'll get back here in a day or so. It's supposed to rain 100% chance tomorrow. We'll see what it's like. Maybe I'll come for a while, but I might take off after this haul. All right, I'm back home. What a day. I'm going to get into my parents. I got the frame completed and labeled. I label them up, you know, with rocks Cousteau on them and stuff. But here's my buddy. He's been in here all by himself all day. Haven't you, buddy? poor old boy this is my pet squirrel for you new people tuning in squirrel man he's in videos like three times a week or something he's getting him some grapes and stuff look here look back in here he's going to town you going to town squirrel man Well, maybe I'll give him get a shot of him at the end. He looks like he's been sleeping. He wants to stay in his cage. You can see him in there. 
He's having a grape. He eat this stuff too. He's got apple, kiwi, and three more grapes. It'll be gone when I get back. Look at him. But I'm gonna get down and put the black light on the marbles, and I'll show you the frame. It looks awesome, man. I did good today. I'm not gonna clean up the insulators right now. You've seen me find a ton of them on my channel. Here he comes. Here he is. Look at this good-looking boy. I was missing you, buddy. Missing you. Well, there he is. He's out now. He's getting, look how big he is. He eats good, that's why. He likes the apple. Look at him. It's old old chapo. You gonna get some more stuff there, buddy? You gonna do Squirrel Maniac for him? You gonna squeal? Hey! Look at his tail. Alright, well, I wanted to give you a shot of him for everybody that loves him. Everybody loves Squirrel, buddy. Huh, buddy? I'll play with you when I get back, big man. I'll play with you in a little bit. Huh? You went to wrestle? You went to wrestle, Squirrel Man. All right, I'll show you the marbles next. I got them all cleaned up and they're in the case. There's my buddy. Later. All right, all right folks. I'm down in a dark hallway at my parents' house, and man, I got a few that fluoresce today. That lemonade ox blood. Now look at this. There's one of the shooters I found, but look, oh, look at these two right here. That's the one with the black line on it there is the ox blood one that I found today. All of these up here are the ones I found today, but two of them fluoresce, and they're both acro agates. But that lemonade ox blood, look at it. And there's the last two big shooters I found, and then uh, another one that fluoresces there up in the same dome. But man, the frame is complete. Let's go upstairs and I'll show it to you now. But can you look how them glow? The two right there, right there, are the ones from this video. I'll show you, I'll be back in a second. All right, you can see what I did here. I put my channel name, and these are February and March 2020 dump digging. And I put on the back where the dumps they're from because that's where the kids had them and played with them. The two marbles I just showed you that glow, there's the ox blood one, and there's that other lemonade like marble. Man, this is a nice frame of desirable marbles from small towns in the Ohio Valley off dumps. Let's see, these are off three dumps within like 20 miles of each other, up and down the river. These are beautiful. I'm pretty proud of this because you don't know the blood, sweat, and tears it took to put this together. You know, you go try to dig a frame of marbles like this out of the dirt in the dump where there's trash. You have to be in the right layers of trash and you have to spend a great deal of time there to find this kind of stuff in quantity like this. But you will find them. About everybody that I see digging dumps on YouTube finds marbles. I'm, it's just what I'm looking for. I love them. Man, these acros and stuff are just insane. That carnelian, that red one up there by that Bennington there, that blue one. And those honey yellow colored ones are very unique. I'd say them were some kind of acros too, and I've never seen them. But that one with the wood grain, that has to be worth some money. I've never seen anything like that. You saw it in the video. But anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's well. And um, stay inside, I guess. This is kind of getting scary. But I'll still be digging. If it doesn't rain, it's supposed to rain the next few days. But I'm going to try to look anyway. Keep bring, bringing you videos. Later, folks.